بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیکچر نمبر فور یونٹ نمبر ون کمپلیکس نمبرز ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس دی ایکسرسائز کویسچنس آف ایکسرسائز ون پوائنٹ ون مین وی ول سالو دی ایکسرسائز کویسچن آف ون پوائنٹ ون دس ایکسرسائز از فرام فرسٹ ایئر ٹیکسٹ بک مردان بورڈ بیفور ٹو ڈسکس دی ایکسرسائز کویسچن آف solve the exercise question we uh, discussed in previous lectures different theoretical work and that theoretical work will be now used for solving the exercise question without knowing the theory uh, if you are just remember the formula in solving the question it will help you to take a number in a board but it will be Uh, difficult for you to gain the concept of the topic so that's why in the previous lectures in the previous video lectures we discussed that all uh, in all this theoretical work all this theoretical work and now inshallah that theoretical work will be used for solving exercise 1.1 we discussed the background in video number one now they, uh, we will discuss the history of a complex number definition of a complex number all these theoretical world is discussed in the previous video lectures and this the all this theoretical work will be now used to solve the question of exercise 1.1 okay so this is exercise 1.1 you see that these are the uh, questions of exercise 1.1 you see to question number one question number one is actually you need to simplify these um, expressions which contain higher power of iotas so for that we know that when the power of uh, we know that uh, iota highest power of iota any power of iota we know from the theory that uh, this is power question number 1 question number 1 part number 1 is iota power 9 plus iota power 19 part number 2 is uh, part number 2 of the exercise 1.1 question number 1 is minus iota power 23 part number 3 is minus 1 power minus 23 divided by 2 and fourth part is minus 1 power 15 by 2 now in these four parts there are uh, you see the power of the iota is not 1 now uh, we know that any power of iota any power from the theory we know that any power of iota will be decrease any power of iota any power of iota will be expressed into plus iota or minus iota or plus 1 or minus 1 so to convert any power of iota into plus iota or minus iota or plus iota or minus iota we discussed some relation we will use this that iota square is equal to minus 1 as we know that iota is equal to square root of minus 1 imaginary unit so when you take the square on the both side you will get iota square is equal to minus 1 we can use this now for that we uh, discussed uh, certain relation if you remember from the last videos that iota power please remember these four equations for converting highest power of iota to plus 1 minus 1 iota or minus iota the first equation is iota power 4k is equal to 1 for all k belongs to z z mean integer and k may be uh, k is any integer so then uh, iota power 4k plus 1 will be equal to minus iota for all k belongs to z then the third equation is iota power 4k plus 2 will be equal to minus 1 for all k belongs to z this is notation for all iota power 4k plus 3 is equal to minus iota 
for all k belongs to z these four equations are not given in the first year textbook but if you use these four relation for converting highest power of iota into plus iota or minus iota or plus one or minus one so it will be much easier than using this than using just iota square is equal to minus one it is difficult um, you can convert highest power of iota by just using this relation that iota square is equal to minus one but it is difficult it requires so many uh, so much time and so much work but these four equations are so much important and make the work so easy that when you are converting highest power of iota to plus one minus one plus iota or minus iota so please remember these four relation for converting highest power of iotas into one iota minus iota or plus iota these this is not given in the textbook so please remember this note uh, write down this uh, in your uh, notes or in your uh, on the top of somewhere in book because this is not included in the book moving towards the exercise question if i take the uh, first question so my first question is uh, i solved the first question on different on, on more than three methods but after that i will use to convert the highest power of the iota by using these relation because these relation will uh, reduce your uh, labor uh, it will be so easy for you to just remember these four now you see that 19 uh, iota power 9 plus iota power 19 so, uh, we, uh, this will be equal this can be written as iota power 4 uh, this 9 can be written as 4 multiplied by 2 plus 1 so this is 4k plus 1 iota power 4k plus 1 so for this thing now uh, here the value of the k is specific k is 2 and 2 is an integer so that four relations work for integer if k is an integer it may be any integer it may be plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 plus 3 minus 3 and so on 0 so now in this case you clearly see that uh, here is uh, 2 k is 2 so power iota power 4 k plus 1 according to that result iota power 4 k plus 1 is equal to plus iota so uh, you, uh, you can replace this by plus iota plus now this 19 can be written as 4 multiplied by 4 plus 3 4 multiplied by 4 16 16 plus 3 19 so this is equal to 19 now this is 4k plus 3 according to this relation this is equal to minus iota now the value of k is 4 4 is an integer so this is equal to minus iota so plus minus uh, sorry iota plus minus iota mean iota minus iota which is equal to 0 so uh, you see that you are converting now uh, it doesn't mean that the expression of the highest power of the iotas will be equal to plus one or minus one no the the, the single power of the highest power of the, 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 the single iota mean you see that iota power nine so this must be converted to plus iota or minus iota plus one or minus one according to their relations and iota power 19 is converted to minus iota when you add these two you will get zero so you see that how uh, so it is so easy by using these uh, these results now uh, if you need to solve that by using iota square is equal to minus one so you can this iota power nine can be written as iota dot um, dot mean multiplication iota multiplied by iota power eight when the bases are same the powers will be added the exponent will be added so in this case uh, you see that the base is same the powers will be added so you will get iota power 9 so this is equal to iota power 9 plus iota power 19 can be written as iota multiplied by iota power 18 uh, same that when the bases are same the power will be added now iota this iota power 8 can be written as iota square whole power 2 now this 2 will be multiplied with 4 so uh, this is equal to this plus iota power 18 will be iota square whole power 9 now we know that iota square is equal to minus 1 so iota minus 1 power 4 plus iota iota square is equal to minus 1 so i minus 1 power 9 now this power is even so this will become plus 4 and this power is odd so it will remain minus so plus iota minus iota you will get zero so you see that you will get the same result but it requires uh, much uh, more time as compared to 
uh, using their relations if you use uh, if you solve it by uh, another method if you take uh, if you write iota power 9 plus iota power 19 uh, is equal to iota power 9 multiplied by iota power 10 so take iota power 9 comma this is 1 plus iota power 10 iota power 9 can be written as iota power 4 multiplied by 2 plus 1 plus 1 iota power 4 multiplied by 2 plus 2 now this is equal to 9 this is equal to 10 so this is 4k plus 1 this is 4k plus 2 so iota power 4k plus 1 is equal to iota and iota power 4k plus 2 is equal to minus 1 if k belong, if this k belongs to integers now in this case the value of k is 2 and the value of k is 2 so these are integers so this value will be equal to iota according to this result and this value will be equal to minus 1 according to this result so this is iota 1 plus minus 1 mean 1 minus 1 0 0 multiplied by iota you will get 0 so you see that from all the three methods you are getting iota equal to 0 but if you use this method so it will be so easy so uh, you must remember these four equations for converting highest power of iota into plus 1 or minus 1 or into plus iota or minus iota these four uh, relations are not given in your book please remember that and write down uh, this in your notebook now uh, to uh, move further uh, pop, uh, part number two part number two is minus one power uh, minus uh, minus iota power 23 so this is minus iota this minus iota can be written as minus one multiplied by iota power 23 so this minus one power 23 this is equal to minus one power 23 multiplied by iota power 23 so this 23 is odd so uh, it means that you are multiplying minus 1 23 times so when you multiply minus 1 23 times you will get minus 1 or in other words you remember that when the power uh, is odd so the sign will remain uh, the same uh, if this power is even so then this minus will be converted to plus now this 23 can be written as 4 multiplied by 5 plus 3 so uh, 4 multiplied by 5 20 uh, 4 multiplied by 5 you see that this is equal to 20 and 20 plus 3 23 now this is 4k plus 3 so iota power 4k plus 3 is equal to minus iota so minus 1 uh, equal minus 1 multiplied by this is equal to minus iota according to this relation so minus multiplied by minus you will get plus 1 multiplied by iota you will get iota so the simplest form of minus iota power 23 is plus iota now uh, part number 3 minus 1 power minus 23 divided by uh, 2 so minus 1 power this can be written as minus 1 power 1 by 2 multiplied by minus 23 so this is minus 1 power 1 by 2 mean square root of minus 1 power minus 23 so this is equal to uh, this is equal to iota so iota power sorry uh, there is a camera so now uh, minus 1 power this is the part number 3 minus 1 power minus 22 divided by 3 so minus 1 power you see that this can be written as minus iota power minus 23 uh, sorry minus uh, this is actually square root of minus 1 which is uh, power minus 23 so iota power minus 23 now uh, take the reciprocal so this is 1 divided by uh, iota power 23 uh, now this 23 can be written as 4 multiplied by 5 plus 3 4, iota power 4k plus 3 is equal to minus iota so this relation is equal to minus iota and similarly this is uh, this can be written as iota power 13 this is equal to uh, this is equal to iota power 13 iota power 13 so 13 can be written as 4 multiplied by 3 plus 1 4 multiplied by 3 plus 1 so according to iota power 4k plus 1 this is equal to plus iota this is equal to plus iota so this minus 1 power 13 by 2 is equal to iota now moving towards the next uh, this question is uh, given n correct uh, in the book here uh, on the right side they write 0 this is not 0 this is minus iota prove that iota power 107 plus iota power 112 plus iota power 122 is equal to minus iota now this 107 can be written as uh, you will convert these into the uh, factors of 4 you see that uh, you will convert 107 into factor of 4 and uh, if you divide this 107 by 4 so 
the remainder will be written in addition uh, and the quotient will be uh, in multiplication with 4 you see that i divide uh, 107 by 4 so when you multiply 4 with 26 you will be 104 so this is 3 so you see that 4 multiplied by 26 will be equal to uh, plus 3 will be equal to 107 you know that dividend uh, is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder so uh, in that way we are uh, making these uh, three uh, terms uh, in the form of 4k uh, iota power 4k plus 1 or iota power 4k plus 2 or iota power 4k plus 3 or you can iota power 4k so you see that uh, this is equal to iota power 4 multiplied by 28 and this is this 122 can be written iota power 4 multiplied by 30 plus 2 so you see that this is 4k plus 3 iota power 4k and iota power 4k plus 2 this 26 is an integer this is an integer and this is an integer so you can apply that uh, relations so this is 4k plus 1 iota power 4k iota power 4k is equal to 1 so you uh, in place of iota power 4 multiplied 28 this is equal to plus 1 iota power 4k plus 2 iota power 4k plus 2 this is equal to minus 1 and iota power 4k plus 3 this is equal to minus iota this is equal to minus iota plus minus 1 cancel you will get minus iota so you see that uh, this iota power 107 plus iota power 112 and iota power 122 is equal to minus iota and you uh, can convert these highest power of iotas into plus iota or minus iota or plus 1 minus 1 by using these relation by using this relation uh, but this relation you just need to convert the high, the power of the iota uh, into the uh, factor of 4 uh, and plus reminder you divide that power 107 by 4 and you write uh, 4 with the um, uh, quotient and multiplication and uh, plus reminder you know that 107 when you divide 107 by 4 so this 107 will become your dividend and you know that dividend 107 will be equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus reminder so this is your this is your divisor this is multiplied this is your quotient and this is your reminder so according to that result uh, dividend dividend is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus reminder similarly when you divide uh, 112 by 4 so you will get 4 multiplied by 28 11120 1, 1, 1, 2, so this 112 1, 2, uh, dividend will be equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus reminder but they get the remainder is 0 so this will become 4 multiplied 28 mean 4 k iota for 4 k and when you divide 122 by 4 so this is 30 4 multiplied by 30 120 so 2 so 4 multiplied by 30 plus 2 will be equal to 123 according to this relation so by dividing the highest power by 4 so you can easily convert uh, those uh, highest power of iota into iota power 4k or iota power 4k plus 1 or iota power 4k plus 2 or iota power 4k plus 3 and then use that relations so these relations are too much important for converting the highest power of the iotas into the uh, simplest form mean 1 plus iota uh, 1 or minus 1 plus iota or minus iota so please remember these four relation these four relation will help to solve the eta uh, questions uh, very quickly uh, these four relation will minimize your time for solving eta questions this is not including uh, included in the textbook but uh, the, uh, this is very important are uh, converting highest power of iota into plus one uh, plus iota minus one or minus iota so this is question number two now moving towards the question number three question number three is a simple question you just need to add the given complex number this is a complex number this is a complex number and these are the two complex numbers first of all this complex number is uh, is not in the simplified form so you multiply this three with this complex number so 3 multiplied by 1 plus 3 multiplied by 2 so this 3 multiplied by 1 3 3 multiplied by 2 6 so this is actually equal to 3 plus 6 iota and this minus 2 multiplied by 1 minus 3 iota is actually equal to minus 2 plus 6 iota so now add these two complex number we know that real part is added with real part 
and imaginary part will be added with the imaginary part so now uh, in this case the real part is 3 in this case the real part is minus 2 so this 3 will be added with minus 2 and in this case the imaginary part is 6 and the imaginary part is 6 so 6 will be added with 6 and you will write iota as a factor with 6 plus 6 so when you uh, this is the addition of these two complex number 3 will be added with minus 2 because these are the real parts plus and imaginary part will be uh, added with the imaginary part and then you will write iota as a factor with both so this is 3 minus 2 plus 1 6 plus 6 12 iota so you see that uh, when you add two complex number you will get again a complex number this is the other fair form of this complex number uh, which is first invented by hamilton uh, that he converted the ordered fair uh, the complex number into ordered fair form and then uh, organ uh, robert organ uh, represented the uh, geometrical representation for the ordered fair in a complex plane we discussed that in the theory uh, this is all uh, this is the real part of this this is the real part of this complex number this minus 2 by 3 is the main mini part of this complex number and minus 1 by 3 is the main mini part of this complex number. So you will add a real part with real and imaginary part with imaginary you will get the answer now in this case the complex numbers are given in the ordered fair form you know that ordered fair ordered fairs are actually the points lies in a plane but every point in a plane is actually a complex number because uh, there is a, a equivalent relation of the complex number with an ordered fair so these ordered fairs are actually a complex number so i can convert this ordered fair into under the root 2 plus iota and this 1 plus under the root 2 is 1 plus under the root 2 iota so by adding these two ordered fairs mean by adding these two complex number this under the root 2 plus 1 because these are the real parts real part will be equal to the real part and imaginary part will be equal to the imaginary part uh, this can't be further simplified so you can write so this is the real part and this is the complex uh, this is the imaginary part you see that when you are adding two complex number you will get again another complex number uh, subtracting so you will subtract the real part from real and imaginary part from imaginary uh, this question is also so much easy so this ex uh, question number four is uh, for you this is an assignment you see to this i am not explaining this this is so much easy question and uh, this is another you see that and this is part number two now this is part number three i am subtracting real part from real and imaginary part from imaginary now you are multiplying multiplication is also so much easy you will just do the horizontal multiplication 11 will be multiplied with this complex number then you will write plus and 8 iota will be multiplied with this complex number this is a horizontal multiplication and then when iota is multiplied by uh, iota you will get iota square and iota square is equal to minus 1 so this is the simple uh, simplification now when you see that when two complex numbers are multiplied you will get again a complex number so when these two complex numbers are multiplied you get a complex number his real part is uh, the real part in this case is uh, sorry minus 117 and the imaginary part uh, in this case is minus 1 minus iota is the power imaginary number the uh, actually the coefficient of the uh, iota uh, is the imaginary part not uh, along with iota so this is the imaginary part so this is question number five this is a simple multiplication now question number uh, part number two of the question number five this is also simple multiplication part number three you see that these are the simple multiplications now uh, in uh, the divisions of two complex number is important topic we will use rationalization process inshallah in next video lecture we will uh, discuss that how we can divide two complex number in the division of two complex number we do the process of rationalization why do we the process of rationalization uh, because they in the denominator there are two independent constants by remove by removing their two independent constants we do the process of rationalization what is the process of rationalization inshallah in the coming video uh, we will discuss there so inshallah in the coming video we will solve the exercise question from question number 6 to question number 11 mean inshallah in the next video the whole exercise will be ended thank you